Hey, it's Coach Jason here today. Wanted to talk about comfort zone. And if you want to hit bigger goals or make bigger actions in your life, the one thing you want to be aware of is your comfort zone. Because as human beings, we have levels of comfort of where we're at. And we by default will operate within them and it's also within our human nature to always come into a place of equilibrium and comfort and the one challenge with that is that when we set our sights on a larger target that is beyond our comfort zone and if you're say an investor and you're setting a target over here or if you're going to 2x or you're pushing to a higher level you're probably aiming at a target that's beyond what is your comfort zone is. And as you start to take action in that, you may find yourself running into struggles with confidence or focus or distraction or maybe justifying a lower standard because those are all symptoms of, a, of, of, of being beyond your comfort zone. And you know, some people will call me and say, Jason, I need help. This procrastination is a problem. Procrastination is not a problem. There is some form of misalignment that's causing the inability to take action. So it's really not procrastination. It's not a thing. So, so what you really want to be aware of is that when you're setting your target beyond what is comfortable, beyond what you normally thought is possible, there may be some discomfort involved. And that discomfort, you may feel it in your body, you may feel it as stress, worry, fear. When that comes up, the best thing you can do is just breathe or distract yourself for a couple minutes. Because sometimes what a lot of people can get in patterns of is creating this change, creating this growth, taking the action to the higher level, but it starts to feel uncomfortable or unknown in their body. And at that point, they'll literally push themselves back to a place of comfort and undo the change they just created. So the thing you want to focus on is like, what is the target that I want? And what is the target that I really want? And, and the way to validate what the actual target is that will invalidate your comfort zone in the planning process is to ask yourself, if I had a magic wand, like if Harry Potter gave me his magic wand and I could go poof, what target would I get? Or if I could, if I was, if success was guaranteed or if I could not fail, what target would I hit? Because when you ask the question that way, you're going to invalidate any fears in the process. So really focus on what it is you actually want, not what you think is possible. Okay, Because the difference between what you, what you really want and what you think is possible may be 10 to 100x, right? But the difference between those two is really just a strategy. And I know if you're watching this, you're, in a, you're focused on growth and you're focused on expanding, so you're not afraid of a strategy. You're not afraid of taking action. But often we get caught up in these emotions wrapped into the target simply because it, it's beyond what we think is comfortable or beyond what we've done before. But taking action in this direction or taking action in this direction is no different. You just, you're taking action in a direction. So be aware of where you're starting to feel the expansion in your body because really the truth is you can as, as fa expand your success and results and ability and capability in life as fast as you can accept the expansion. That's typically the thing. And as a coach, you'd be surprised that I spend far more time removing resistance to success than I do helping people create motion towards it. Because if you're coming to coaching, you're taking action. It's usually about let's remove all the things that are blocking that success or that result from showing up in your life. All right. If you need help, reach out. I'm here. Send me a message or call me directly, whatever you can do. Hope you have a great day. Remember, push through that comfort zone and just breathe. You got this. Okay. Thanks.